What a surprise. The U.S. Army is struggling to find the recruits it needs to win the fight over the future. I think they mean World War III against China and Russia. But tell us, Army Secretary, what sort of mistakes have you been making that's probably driving so many people away from joining the military? One of the things I think that's most important to General McConville and I is keeping the Army apolitical and keeping it out of the culture wars. Because frankly, we have got to be able to have a broad appeal. You know, when only 9% of kids are interested in serving, we have got to make sure that we are careful about not alienating, you know, wide swaths of the American public to the army. So in other words, the military literally recruiting LGBTQAIPK2 plus people who are about 1% of the population may have driven away large swaths of Normal people who otherwise would have joined? <laughs> what a surprise. And when I say they've been recruiting those people, I mean, they literally have been. You probably saw the army recruitment ad, the cartoon about the girl with the two mommies and how they went to a pride parade and she's been fighting for freedom for her whole life. And this one from the CIA, which features a gender non-binary CIA officer. Under the Biden administration, instead of our recruits being trained to defeat the enemy, they're being trained on how to use the proper pronouns for their fellow soldiers so that they don't offend any of the gender non-binary people. This is a real recruiting video from the United States Navy. Hi, my name is Johnny and I use he, him pronouns. Hi, and I'm Kanchi and I use she, her pronouns. And we're here to talk about pronouns. pronouns. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is how we identify ourselves apart from our name and it's also how people refer to us in conversations. Using the Okay, this isn't a video from a preschool. <laughs> this is literally with the U.S. Navy. Please tell us more, sir, about one of the biggest problems plaguing the military today. But what would I do if I uh, misgender someone? I think the first thing to recognize is that it's not the end of the world. You correct yourself and move on, or you accept the correction and move on. The most important thing I can tell you is do not put the burden of making you feel good about your mistake on the person that you okay, just misgendered. It's catering to idiocy like this that has led to soldiers like this. Now proudly posting pictures on social media of themselves in uniform while also wearing his gimp puppy mask. This is not a joke, by the way. There is a large segment of these fetishists online, one of which works in the Department of Energy with the bald head, the one that looks like Matt Damon. He also has a puppy gimp mask that he likes to parade around in. This is the American military today, and this is Russia's. Вопросы могут остаться без ответов, но разве ты сможешь потом спокойно спать? Узнать тебя, познать границы своих возможностей. К черту границы, ты готов ломать себя до изнеможения. Gee, I wonder who has a better chance of winning World War III. And while everybody knows that the U.S. military has gone woke, the dirty little secret side effect of that wokeness is, as the Washington Times reports, the gay rape problem in the U.S. military, which is not only underreported by the Pentagon, but also by the liberal media industrial complex and the victims, because they're embarrassed, obviously, if they get raped by one of the gay men in their unit. And they estimate that the actual number of victims is 15 times higher than actually reported. A strange phenomenon that just so happened to start occurring once President Obama repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell and let and welcomed in <clears throat> certain kind of people into the military. Yes, most victims of sexual assault in the military are men. Tell us, Major General Evans, what could possibly be causing this? June is LGBT Pride Month, recognizing lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender Americans. We observe LGBT Pride Month to mark the progress we've made in embracing a society of equality. But we must stay vigilant and continue to call upon our fellow citizens to eliminate prejudice and embrace the celebration of diversity within our nation. They need more of them. At this point, the Army surplus stores are gonna start looking like a BuzzFeed store. <laughs> This is the actual BuzzFeed store, by the way. What a surprise. You could also surprise people this Christmas by wearing a Trump Claw sweatshirt to dinner or give one as a gift or any of my awesome designs from markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And this weekend, get free shipping on anything by using the promo code SANTA at the checkout. Time is almost up to order things and get them in time for Christmas. So be sure to place your orders today for Trump Claws or your Let's Go Brandon shirt, my new climate change shirt, F Joe Biden shirt, or any of my awesome designs 
all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to MarkDice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code SANTA at the checkout to get free shipping this weekend, and check them out!